and the candle snuffer because we're, we're going back to Victorian times. Welcome back to my channel. It's Pixie again. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Pixie. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever you happen to be doing when you're watching this, hope you're doing it fabulously and safely and taking care of yourself and your loved ones. And tonight is another awkward video. Uh, this is the first time I will be unboxing this new subscription I got. And I have no idea what to expect. Except there's a book in it. <laughs> so cheers. Yay. And if you're new here, welcome. Sorry, not sorry. All I do here is awkward. So. It is called the Unplugged Book Box, and I can just read you the description. Uh, this is $39.99, I believe, and it's $10 shipping, so it's 50 bucks. So, but it's really heavy, so we're gonna see if it's worth it. This is my first one ever. I haven't even watched any YouTube videos on it. There's cat fur on the box, of course there is, because it was on the porch. The Unplugged Book Box is a monthly subscription box focusing on self-care with unique, exclusive self-care products to help you unplug and live in the moment. Unplugged su supports... <laughs> Unplugged supports small businesses and artists in every box, donates to classrooms and teachers, as well as disaster relief, and sources ethical and sustainable products, which I freaking love. And I just, I have a, I love reading, but I have a hard time picking out something to read. So this is the adult fiction box. Yeah, $39.99. If it's three months, you do $117.45. Six months is two thirty four ten, and monthly or twelve months monthly is four fifty six. I just went with the first box to see if I like it. You can also get a young adult monthly box. So let's get right into this because I am getting tired of holding it like this, and I'm super super excited. I've been staring at this box all day long. I just want to get into it. So it comes like this. And then it says unplug and recharge on both sides and the address is on the bottom, which I like. So yay, I'm super excited. I hope everybody's doing okay. And you know, we all love a new subscription box. I don't know how long this has been around, but it's new for me. And like I said, I love reading, but I always have a hard time deciding what to read. Even like recommendations sometimes I'm just like, huh, eh, eh. Hi, I'm so excited. Okay. Let's try to not knock things over tonight, but it looks like this. This is the April box. <laughs> this is the April box and it looks like this. So, yay. I am so excited. This is so awkward. It says, Be Bold, Be You, April 2022 Adult Fiction. Okay, and then it says, read below for all the information. The book is called The City of Dusk by Tara Sim. So the first thing on top, I see. That's the thing about books. They let you travel without moving your feet. And I see a zipper. So I don't know if this is a travel pillow. But it has a little map on the back. And yes, I'm super excited. Let's open it, see what it is. I see a zipper. And it's just like a little pouch. So, okay, let's see if it says what this is. <clears throat> and it does not. I think it's just a pouch. Like, but it's sideways. I don't know, let's explore. And it's covered in these squigglies. We love the squigglies. They get everywhere. But I almost wonder if this is like a travel pillow because it's soft enough. You could put something in it. I don't know. We'll read about it. And it says unplugged book box, adult fiction tea party, collection number one, tea set number one, collection tea set number one in this really cool box. It's super pretty. So let's open this. 
Thank goodness I was careful because that box was upside down. Uh, Jane Austen Cup and Saucer Collectible. This month's collectible tea party goodie is the exclusive teacup and matching saucer by Ukrainian artist Anastasia. Don't ask me to pronounce her last name. Kemlovska. This is... I'm trying. <laughs> This is the first in a set of four teacups that will be a part of our monthly tea party collection. Austin became known for foregoing tra traditional female roles during her time and instead wrote books proving that being bold and being herself was the right path for her. So I love Jane Austen and this is super freaking cute. So here's the little teacup. Oh my god, I love it. I'll have to get like a china cabinet if these are going to be collectibles because so far I might keep the subscription and I don't drink enough tea I probably should and here's the saucer it says when I have a book of my own I shall be wealthy if I have not an excellent library a house of my own I can read it's super tiny so I do like that, it's super pretty. When I have a house of my own, I shall be miserable if I had not an excellent library. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, I'm just super excited. I'm gonna put this back in the box before I break it. But first two items, I am pleased. And then we got a little candle snuffer. Which is always useful. Very old school. I love it. This will just go on my little bar where most of my candles are. And then we have, I see a candle. The Balar Baladarin. Baladarin Empire. Hand poured in Car Carola. Natural, pure, honest soy candle. So. If it wouldn't be upside down, Sarah, that'd be great. Smell it. Oh, this smells amazing. And there's like these little crystal things on top. You see the crystals? So, we should read about that, I suppose. <laughs> Candle snuffer is safety safely extinguished. Look how hard that is to read. Like the black on white on tiny, tiny, tiny. And my glasses are outside. Um, tiny text. Safely extinguish your candles, but don't ex ex extinguish your inner boldness. This exclusive candle snuff is from Te Team Unplugged. Let's see. And we have a room spray. Library between life and death. It did leak a little bit, but thank goodness it's in this bag. Let's take it out of the bag, even though it leaked a little bit. Thank you for thinking in advance for packing it in separate plastic. Because now it's going to be all over my hands, but at least it can get all over the book. Oh, the book is wrapped, luckily. Library between life and death. Unplugged book box exclusive. It smells very musty, but... And you can see even the sticker is kind of stained where it leaked, but at least, like I said, it was in this plastic so it didn't get everywhere entirely. And then I see like some postcards, but this is clearly the book. I'm glad they wrapped it. Dear reader, when I was 15, I wrote my first book. It was very long and very bad, but I loved it immensely, as well as the process of writing it. I knew I wanted to continue writing long, epic fantasy stories, the kind I grew up reading, and meant so much to me. Oh, <laughs> I'm doing really well with this unboxing. Now everything smells like that room spray just sitting here. Now when you get to hold one in your hand now you get to hold one in your hands. The city of dusk is a love letter to so many of my favorite things and the culmination of years and years of hard work, stubbornness, and love of fantasy. You already have me sold at fantasy. I'm fantasy sci-fi and like dark fiction. The occasional murder mystery. <laughs> I'm trying not to get the room spray because it feels oily on this like photo style 
because it's got the gloss. It feels more like a photo than a freaking postcard. Hope you enjoyed the world, the story, most of all the characters who are flawed but trying their best in an uncertain world. All the best, Terra Sim. And it's a little cityscape. The gargoyle. Loving it already. And then we got a sticker. Stickers always make me happy. So let's read about this book. Because I'm loving all the little goodies you get. I can smell this. <laughs> it's so strong. So that'll be like not right before bed kind of room spray. And okay. Where did my little booklet go? See, I didn't see the candle on... Okay, that pouch thing is a book sleeve, but I don't know if, like, every book is going to fit in that. But that makes sense as to why it's, like, horizontal like this, but vertical like this because the zipper's on the side. But you can still make it a pillow. Anyway, that, that was a book sleeve. I don't see... Okay. The Unbroken by C. C. L. Clark. I'm telling you, this is so hard to read right here so just bear with me they're paving paying the ultimate price for life during war and rebellion the pair must embrace power to achieve within to achieve what they must in order to, to in order to survive i really don't have words the exclusive candle is by natural pure honest okay so the unbroken candle is probably a book title i'm guessing and the candle is inspired by it so it tells you whatever yeah and The City of Dusk by Tara Sim. Tara Sim's debut adult fiction novel takes us on quite a journey of self-discovery through her vivid characters. This book released through the Hatchet Book Group on March 22nd. And then there's journal prompts to help you be yourself because the theme is Be Bold, Be You. And it has a raspberry peach jam recipe. And then on the back, it'll show you like the sneak peek for the next boxes. Yep, May Sneak Peek is Endorphin Rush or Catalyst for a young adult and Bed and Breakfast Limited Edition Box if you want to buy that separately on their shop and I'll leave everything down below. I bought this with my own money and I was just like, I needed something new to read and I'm glad it came on time because we're going on vacation and I would love to have a new book. So yeah, I'm glad they wrapped the book because you can see where that room spray kind of leaked everywhere. So that was good thinking on their part. And... I'm rereading Harry Potter for like the 18th time of my life, you know? It's time for something new. I do like revisiting books, but it's always good to have a fresh read. And if this is like a dark fantasy, this is right up my alley and look at that freaking cover work. I'm so excited. <laughs> For every realm there is a god, for every god there is an heir, for every heir there is a price. The four realms, here's the back. So yay. The four realms, life, death, light, and darkness all converge on the city of dusk, but the gods have withdrawn their favor from once thriving, vibrant, from the once thriving and vibrant metropolis. Without it, all the realms are dying. Unwilling to stand by and watch the destruction, the four heirs to divine power, Angelica and Elementalist, with her eyes set on the throne, Risha, or Risha, R-I-S-H-A, a necromancer fighting to keep the peace, Nicholas, a soldier who struggles to see the light, and Thaisa, Thaisia, a shadow-wielding rogue with a reckless heart, will become re reluctant allies in the quest to save their city, but their rebellion will cost them dearly. I cannot wait to open this damn book. <laughs> I'm super excited and I'm really happy with like the little goodies you got. I like how they're kind of like the same theme, like d kind of dark fiction, roguish, rebellious. I do like that um, a lot. For my first book, I will say I'm super impressed. I wish this hadn't leaked, but at least it's safe. But yeah, being a room spray, it's super potent. So that's going to go like in the kitchen or maybe the bathroom. I don't know. It's very oily. But I'm glad they did think to wrap it in paper because this whole box would have been destroyed. <laughs> and then we have the candle. There was no like retail value on any of these. I guess it's because the box even said like most of these are exclusive to the uh, unplugged book box. So we have the candle, the room spray, the book, of course. The little collectible tea set. So if I get all four of these, I'll be super happy just to display them. The little information. 
a book sleeve, which I don't know, your book would have to be a very specific size for that. The sticker, the introduction from the author, and the candle snuffer, because we're, we're going back to Victorian times. But yeah, I'm super happy. Let me know what you thought about this book box. Have you received it before? Are you still receiving it? What do you think? Would you read this book? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. And thank you for joining me again in another awkward, awkward video. I think, I don't think I'm gonna cancel this. I think I'm gonna keep this going. We'll do like two or three more and then I'll decide if I don't wanna renew. But um, I told my mom about it and she's actually excited to see what we get or like what I get and then like, she is a book lover as well and she's the same way she's always down for a new read this might not be her total like up her alley her normal taste but i think she'd give it a shot um but i definitely will i i think this is super cool i like this idea of this box i think i'm gonna keep it going yeah let me know what you think before i talk your ear off anymore i will talk to you in the next one i love you so much bye awkward pixie out love you bye love you bye love you so much bye love you bye